Okay, so we're just diving into our toolbox and um, seeing what we can do in this game based on the mantra that we've created for ourselves within the, you know, for the answer process. We've got a lot of tools in our toolbox, you know, so basically we're trying to improve the way that we trade down within chess. So I think we're fairly comfortable with where we're currently at with our development. So we're almost like a jack of all the trades, of all the tools that we've got. And we're not a master of any of them, but we we like the attempt and the journey. Oh, clever. Let's go here. We like the um, the test and the journey. I mean, this, this opponent's doing some quirky stuff at the minute, but their queen is coming off anyway. All right, so this is a very strange opening type thing. So this is a good challenge for us to work through. Let's just bring the bishop through here. So yeah, having a lot of knowledge and um, learned skill in the game. It helps me to have things to choose from, options, choices. And it's really about trying to find the right movement at the right time, right moment. That's nice. But it's um, one of those positions where you say, would you really go for that in that sort of circumstance? Going to bring the bishop here. It's a movement in time. So again, greedy munching pawns is one of the downfalls, I think, of the majority of the games that I've played um, against opponents, is it's that movement in time. So it seems to seems to quite catch a lot of people out. It looks good when they're attacking the piece, but it doesn't improve the position on the board. So that's really one of the key things that we're looking at within our development. Um, is it any use? Yes, the queen can grab loads of pawns off the board and it's looking hefty. But really, is it improving anything? I'd love for that bishop to just stay there, get a back rank checkmate. Ooh, almost. So we're going to get the knight. Because he's going to have to move the bishop now or else he's getting back ranked. So again, this um, really, this is a, tip, a beautiful game to show the tempo using the right tools from the actual toolbox to gain a better position on the board. And as we mentioned, greedy munching pawns, most of the games that I have played, when the opponent does go for them, it doesn't really improve their position. It looks good for a kudos. Yes, I've got a pawn and I've got another pawn. But when you look at the tail of the tape, they've not really developed their other pieces as teams not working them together and not really finding appropriate positions to take advantage of the game that is actually happening on the board. Let's take this and we can now attack the bishop and we just look to basically trade down now. Oh, wrong, wrong bishop. <laughs> I thought that was the white square bishop getting carried away. Right, okay, so I might lose my thread here now. Okay, right, there, what shall we do? Bait a pawn. Mm, bait a rook, bait a pawn, bait a pawn. Or you have a pushes down, whichever. Okay, let's just stick in here with the bishop. Let's make it functional. King's next to the um, to, 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 rook. So if he's looking to try some fancy business, he might do. He might go like this. Yeah, so he's win winning a pawn. So we have to be careful of that. And I think that's what they will be trying to do. So if we've just moved the pawn out of the way, then at least if his bishop comes and checks, we can just move the king up. So I'm watching for these fancy tricks. We've seen quite a lot of these recently. Helping them to win tempo, to actually win, you know, to get the queen off the board. Yeah, they've actually done it. Let's go. And he's capturing, so he's reducing down, so he's hoping that, uh, fingers crossed. Has he got more pawns than us? Let's have a look at this. Doesn't look like there's any pluses. Maybe he does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so we've got a bishop and he's got more pawns. So it could work for them, but we've got plenty of time. 
and we've been practicing end game work for many many moons so hopefully fingers crossed it works for us just going to bring the king across attack the bishop and let's see give them something to think about could attack the pawn here he does have more pawns than us there he's got a white square bishop if we start bringing the king up and up and up and then we can maybe start wiping some of these off yep he does have poor majority on this side as well so we have to be mindful of that so we'll start moving across Do, do, do. Does he block us though? He's blocked us really, hasn't he? If I push, I'm just going to push. I think we can afford to go a little bit crazy in this game just to get these pawns off the board. But yeah, I think we can afford to just wipe him off. If his bishop takes, then we take. But I don't think he's going to. I think the pawn will take. He needs to keep his bishop on the board. Oh, we can afford to be crazy. We've got the extra bishop. I didn't think they would do that. Right, so let's get this bishop activated on the other side of the board. We don't want to get it trapped in. So I think if we bring it here and start coming across here, it's got poor majority on this side. It's got poor majority on that side. Let's just bring it central. Maybe looking to block here, but then he pushes his pawn down. Or shall we just push here? Let's push here. Keep it simple. So going crazy has given us some type of benefit. We have got a the bishop. So we can push. So he's, um, what's he doing? Going here. He wants to stay on white squares. He's going to try and put them all on white squares. Obviously not this one. Got 26 minutes and we're in the end game. So this is going to be fairly interesting. It can still be drawn just because I've got a bishop jumping all over the place. He's gone on a dark square. You wouldn't have thought that, would you? So I'm going to bring the um, bishop here looking to come here but obviously he's going to stop that off by going here but then that allows our king to come here but this pawn is going to be ramping home so we need to be flexible with the bishop so if his king comes there we can go here that's just our pawns are very slow okay so he's captured so we do have a passed pawn now and our bishop well it's a dark square bishop isn't it so I mean what can we do we can do quite a few things come around here let's go here this poor majority might kill us but I'm sure we should be okay swing his king across blocking because we do have a passer ourselves if we pushed here he gets there in time if we push up Let's take, Bishop can take now, so he's lessened his um, load on that area. So if we bring the Bishop back, he's trying to win a tempo, so we're going to bring the Bishop here, so at least then we've got the pawn. So he's coming to block our pawn off. So he's going to have to go up, and we, don't, we can take this pawn. So I could leave this Bishop here, I don't need to do anything with the Bishop. Don't really want to push the pawn because he goes to the side. Can go here. Don't want to move the king. Could put a check on the on the king, but I don't want to do that. Lose tempo. So shall we just bring the bishop here? Then he has to do something. So let's just do that. So if he goes up or he goes to the side, then we can push. So hopefully it's a zugzwangy situation where whatever move he makes is not going to be of any benefit to them. If he pushes, we take. And they've resigned. Excellent. So that was the, this is the introduction to the um, Jack of All Chess Trades and Master of None. Um, little mini series uh, just to get back into the flow of um, playing the game and uh, looking at the next projects going forward.
Okay, let's push through the center here, blocking the pawn. Let's capture the pawn. Simple stuff. Knight attacking the queen. Let's push this pawn to stop this pawn from coming down and develop the knight. Get the dark square bishop out, ready for castling. Let's bring the white square bishop. Bit of an x ray, x ray. Castle. Let's take the bishop, it's on the queen. Let's hit the knight, smaller piece attacking a higher piece. X ray through to the queen eventually. And just get the x ray fully on. Looking to get the knight across here. Let's just bring the knight attacking the knight. Let's take with the rook. Get the queen off of the line of the rook. Let's tack in the rook. We do have a two on one situation. Knight could take. He takes our rook. Knight takes on the queen. Or we can just simply bring the rook back. Let's just bring it back. Because rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. So that's a nice touch because obviously our queen, we didn't have time to move. So we could bring this here. And then we've got a two on one on their bishop when the pawn takes. So we'll take with a check on the king and take the queen. Obviously they're going to take the pawn. So the rook for a moment is owning the file. Let's take with the bishop on the knight. Behind the knight is that, behind the pawn is that. Knights come down for a check on the rook. Rook can slightly move up. Knight's coming down for our rook. So, we could take the pawn with the bishop. Knight takes, we take his rook. But then he gets the bishop, so that's not going to work for us. I'm going to bring the rook up. If he comes for a greedy munch, we can take this pawn on the knight. Gives them something to think about. Then the rook's got this pawn, so we're... Oh, he's on the rook, sorry, don't forget. Let's bring the rook here. Maybe get doubled up on the rooks and then face off the king this way. So it doesn't feel too bad positionally. Let's go here and maybe start attacking the king. Might be a checkmate, you never know. Don't think so, but it might just go backwards and forwards. Okay, so I'm going to put the check on the king and put another check on and bring this here and take on the rook take still on the rook and maybe there's something oh and they've resigned excellent Let's push through the center, develop the knight, keep everything nice and simple. Let's develop the bishop, get ready for castling. And let's castle. Let's develop the knight. I'm not, I'm not ignoring the fact that they're just pushing pawns. Let's just um, hit the center. And just capture. Let's take the queen off the board. Some players can play like this, you see. So let's just put a check on the king. It's on a white square. Let's develop the bishop. Shall we double up? Don't think it's going to be worth doubling just yet, is it? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Tight, tight, night, night, night. Okay, let's just bring the rook here. Let's come here. It wants to double our pawns here. No problems there. I'm just going to say it'd be nice to get sighted here. 
Pawns got no protection, has got no protection. How do we get to them? That square can get in. That square bishop can get in. Let's just bring this here. And how long can it stay there though? Okay, it's got a long way to come back. So it's got a retreat square. Knight's actually defending this. So it's a good job we've got the retreat square. We can come back here. So we leave the space open for the rooks if we want to come across. But nice. Probably should have taken advantage. Oh, mind you, no, I couldn't have done because we've kind of baited the rook in. So now we have the opportunity for a little bit of an x-ray if need be but it does look like this is a good bishop he's looking to double pawns up all over but I don't have a problem with that let's just get the bishop active for a few seconds could even put a check on the king just moved off of the x-ray I'm going to put a check on the king Let him know we're in the game. Could take the knight off the ball, but feel quite happy that the rook is jammed in at the minute. It's on a dark square. Dark square bishop is not really... Let's hit this bishop. Yeah, they just want to double pawns, but don't have a problem with that. Give space for the rooks to operate if we need be. So, small pawn move now. What else do we have? Hitting this pawn. Let's hit this pawn, bishop supporting, trying to make space around the king, it's not happening. He moved there a bit quick. Oh, you know, he's moved there because the bishop can't do this. So if we take this pawn, we potentially have this. Yeah, so we'll go here, bit of a fork, skewer thing, whatever. The rook can't come to defend, so he's gonna have to attack something. And the rooks are defending the bishop. So it's come out. So we get the knight for free. Which can only be a good thing. This rook is still jammed in. Sneak here. Just attacking the rook. They might forget themselves. They haven't forgotten themselves. We do have the rooks here. So we could move the bishop takes takes or oh, we could can't attack there right let's go for an exchange of the rooks I think let's just simplify yep let's grab so we're all in the file for a brief moment knights come in let's just take don't want to complicate that and take that oh if this pawn wasn't here we'd be able to get that x-ray through it's gonna push the pawn. If he, if he, oh, he gets our rook. Uh, he gets our rook. Oh, could I just move my rook and no? He's just gonna, he's gonna move. He's gonna not. It's not gonna fall for it, is it? Let's move it. Potential. Oh, he's moved it. Gutted. Gutted. What a waste. That's a waste of a pawn. That was a waste of a pawn, dude. That's a waste. Yep. Yeah. It's coming down for the pawn here. It's an absolute waste of a pawn. Let's take, take. Or not. Check. No support. Mm -mm. Let's come around see if we can get the other pawns. I'm really concerned about my king because we take and then we take his rook comes down, gets the pawn. I suppose we can push here defending. Let's push here and defend.
Let's get the king off the back. Just hide, just hide it away. It's just going to be getting checks on us. So we're in the bishops protecting the pawn if they forget themselves. Let's put the check on. Let's put the check on. with the bishop let's put the check on and let's push it's coming from a king let's put a check on On again, let's push. God, you know, for a brief second there, I thought, oh, it's not that move, and this way or this way. Let's maybe go this way. Can we? Then we can maybe dance up and down here. Oh. Was that a give up move? Oh no, he's got my rook. Oh, he's got my rook. Run, run, run. 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 Run, run, run. I think we've got it. I think we've got it now. Yeah. Lovely. Nice one. Last game for today. Three minute zero increment. Let's get some practice in. Let's uh, last bit of practice. Let's go for the queen exchange. Let's see if they're going to go for it or not. It's three minute zero. You think they would? Yeah, go. Shall we get the bishop out? Castle. Let's get the bishop out. They look like they're playing a long play strategy. This is only a three minute game. Let's um, get the knight up. Just tacking the pawn, tacking the pawn, bishop there, touch right, one. Let's push. Let's hit the bishop. Let's hit the bishop again. See the bishop again. Shall we hit this pawn? Let's take. Let's take the rook. Can't take the knight just yet. Let's bring the rook here. Could have actually attacked the bishop. One one now on it. Dear me. Shall be tight. And he's got the pawn. What just happened? Let's take. Got two pieces defending at the moment, but not for long. <laughs> oh, crikey. Let's take. Let's not take. Let's attack the bishop. Time's running out. Let's take. Oh, 
Oh, what has he got? He's got my pawns, and let's bring the rook up. Let's get the knight up. Time is running flat. Mmm, he's got a two on one. I've got nothing. Oh, they're going. Oh. Stop this pawn. take then we're going to be in trouble so let's bring this king up support with the pawn I want to see these magical knight moves that we come out with now let's come up with the king bring the pawn up Just take something. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, time's running out, dude. I'm gonna have to hit this pawn. Just take. Come back down. Check on. It's going nowhere though, but attack the bishop. Oh, no, that'd be a damn mistake. Idiot. Oh, oh, he's missed it. Oh, but my knight can't come back out again though because it'll get taken by his knight. Oh, that was a silly mistake. Let's just come here, attack the pawn. How lucky was that? Time pressure's hitting both of us. Looks like they might have given up now. Oh, shabby times, shabby times. Yeah, they're probably realising that they could have taken the night back then. So they're fed up. Hmm. Sorry, matey. Oops. Okay, to make up for that last one, I'm, I'm just playing a another game because obviously the opponent could have taken our knight they didn't but you know don't want to go out like that let's see what we can do with this game let's push through here it's a three minute game so i've not got to get into long play thinking let's take let's attack the bishop Take the bishop. We'll leave that alone. Let's bring the queen here. Oh, overthinking man. Tuck the pawn. There's two pieces under attack at the minute. So let's take here. Attacking the queen and the bishop. Might not necessarily be a good thing. Let's take first, take this. Let's get the knights attacking the pawn. Pawn attacking the knight. Ooh, sugar ray, I think I messed up. Let's defend the pawn. Let's hit this pawn. 
I'm messing up. I'm seeing it after I've done it. So you've got this pawn here. This pawn can't take now, so I think they messed up and moved a bit quick. Shocking, shocking. Yeah, so he's having to move, but this pawn still doesn't have any protection on. So I'm going to take the pawn with the rook. I'm going to take the rook with the knight, and they've resigned. Excellent. 